Hi guys, I'm Mark Coles. Uh, and this is one of the first uh, skill sessions uh, in partnership with Yasu House. Uh, I work at O2 here uh, or in Slough, so that's uh, one of the main mobile phone companies in the UK. Um, I'm here today to talk a little bit about some of my experiences and particularly how we can help uh, you with some of your enterprises and projects uh, and businesses. Um, I've been lucky enough to work uh, in a couple of different roles. Uh, one of those roles was in the area of media and communication. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about that uh, and how you can take away some of the ideas I've seen and picked up uh, for your projects. Uh, so I think particularly one of the things with social media is the difference between a personal account and a purpose account. So um, particularly how you use them in terms of your planning and measuring how well you've done. Which you don't tend to do with your own accounts. Uh, well, I don't, anyway. Um, so to think about it, so there's probably three key points. There's one is, is planning. B is uh, interaction with other people, which is similar to what you do in your own accounts. Uh, and thirdly is measuring how well you've done. So if we take the first one, planning, you have to think, okay, who do I want to talk to and why? What's the purpose of my social media account? What do I want to message, do I want to give to people? And what do I want people to take away from what I've put online in front of them? Uh, and one of the easiest ways to do that is to plan ahead. We, I don't, in my own accounts, plan much ahead. I just think, okay, that's interesting, retweet, cool, like that, comment on that, it's quite funny. Okay, but if you're trying to use it for a purpose and to build a following, one of the key things to do is plan ahead see what other kind of trends you can leapfrog on the back of, have a kind of forward-looking calendar, if you like, of what you want to talk about, uh, when and to who. Uh, one of the things that we're all guilty of nowadays is scrolling, okay? So you don't want to be part of that scrolling content monster sensation. What are you going to put online that's going to stand out and make people click on it uh, and think, okay, that's really, really good. I want to find out more uh, or engage further. Uh, if we look at the interaction with people, so how do you want to talk to people online? Who are the key people you want to talk to? Are they friends? Are they competitors? Are they people with similar projects to you? Um, what do you want to achieve by talking to them? So one of the other key things I would also think about is, is your tone of voice and the words you use. So that's essentially reflective of the brand you are and the brand you want to be. Okay, so some brands online a very soft tone, some have quite a, a rude tone, some have quite an edgy tone. So Paddy Power is often quite a rude one, for example, but it resonates with um, the kind of language that the customers they're looking to try and appeal to um, use. So it feels quite more native, it feels more native uh, to them. Uh, I think also think about is how you engage people, okay? So think about engaging content, get people to comment, tweet, follow. That's the easiest way to build a following is to have um, a two-way dialogue, okay? There's so much social media nowadays that it's very easy to be a recipient of information and not want to give something back. And I think uh, the companies that encourage participation um, and sharing in moments um, get the most out of the stuff that they put online. If I think about the measuring, okay, that's a little bit more scientific and certainly something I don't do in my personal life and I don't think many people either do, but lots of celebrities, brands will do it and they'll look at what are they putting online and is it getting the most bang for their buck? So measuring, for example, could be what time are you posting things in the day? Are people reading it? If you post at 11 o'clock at night, I'd bet money that some people won't read it, uh, as many people won't read it as they would at seven in the morning when they're off to work, on the train, on the tube, on the bus, etc. Um, so one of the things you can do here is understand the difference between impressions and engagement. So impressions is how many people have seen it, and engagement is how many people are engaged with it, liking, following, commenting, retweeting, tagging their mates in it, okay? That's kind of the holy grail of where you want to get to. You want to get engagement, okay? So that's one of the real key things I'd look to do is to create that engagement factor. Um, there are lots of tools available to, uh, to, to work out how to get more engagement. So things like TweetDeck, Hootsuite, um, the inbuilt platforms into Facebook, into Twitter, into Instagram. I think Snapchat are starting to do it or will be doing it in the coming weeks and months and years. Um, and that, in the, that means you can then take what you've done, look what worked, look what didn't, and improve more uh, and deliver more of what you did that worked well. Um, social media as well, there's loads of it. So it's a free world. You can actually look and learn and take inspiration from what other people have done. What things do you like? Would it fit on your platform in line with your purpose? How does it feel um, to your followers? So I think there's loads and loads of really neat little things that you can do. 
Uh, so if I was to summarise, just quickly, so I'd say think about your planning. Who do you want to talk to, when, why and how? Uh, interaction, so how do you want to talk to people? What do you want people to think of your brand? Uh, and what do you want them to take away and how do they want you to engage with them? Uh, and finally, think about the measurements, okay? So you've put loads of really good stuff out there. How do you know if it's doing any good? Is it pushing your cause further or is it not? Um, so those are the three key things I'd take away um, in helping to use social media to improve your enterprises projects uh, and purposes. So I hope those have been helpful guys, okay? Um, there's lots available online, um, particularly with Yati House over the coming weeks and months. So definitely hit that up and check it out. And last two things for me, don't be afraid to ask for help. There's loads and loads available. Uh, and last of all, good luck.